Hello everyone, we will start with our new topic in smart forms. That is creation of page. In which scenario we have to create a new page. Suppose whenever we created the smart form, one page was by default present when we started designing the layout of the smart form. And in that page, one window, main window was by default present. So whenever you are creating a smart form, one page is by default there. And in that page, one by default window, the main window is there. Suppose I will run my smart form through the program. I'll just run the smart form through the program. Now, in this current smart form, I have two pages in the output. This is my first page on which there are two line items. And if I will go to next page, this is my page two on which I have the third line item. And you can see header information. This header details is on first page also. Header details is on second page also. On the first page, we have the line items. On the second page, we have the line items. And why, why this data shifted to next page, line item data shifted to next page because we created this item data in the main window. What is the feature of the main window? Main window is used for continuation of data and the data is getting continued. Now, suppose customer is saying, I want the header data only only on the first page it means on the first page he want the header data item details are okay after that whatever the items are coming on the next page i should only only get the continuation of item data why why this header details are coming on next pages I do not want header data on next pages. I only want on the first page. And after that, whatever the pages are coming, I only, only want the item data there. It means in this scenario, you have to create a new page. And in the new page, you will only, only go for item data. First page is okay. On the first page, you have everything. Your header details, your item details is there. But after that, whatever the pages are coming in the output, customer is saying, I do not want header data. I only want the item data. And this is real world examples. Suppose I am going to a market. My bill has suppose 200 items then what is happening header data is at the top of the bill and after that we have all the line items in the continuation the same thing is here so in this scenario we will create a new page and on the new page we will only only took the item data so what i will do i will right click on the page and I will create a new page. This is my new page. Now on the new page, we only, only require the item data. So our item data is in the main window. So I will simply copy and paste the main window in the second page also. It means on the second page, we have only, only the item data. Item data is in the main window. Now, 
maximum participants do up to this level but output will not come now the most most important thing for the first page now for the first page what is our next page now the next page is our page 2 which is just we created now for the page 2 the next page is page 2 itself this is the important point which we have to do previously you have only only single page you have only single page in the smart form so where your next page is also that page because if line items are continuing data is shifting to next pages now in this case your first page is page 1 and the next page is page 2 now now the for the page 1 the next page is page 2 and for the page 2 next page is page 2 itself now i'll just activate the smart form and i will show the output to you now suppose i will go to sc38 and show you the output now you can see first page as it is now on the second page you can see we only only have the item data now customer will tell i want this to be start from here so we will only only change the top margin so this is my main window on the second page i'll just change the top margin so that item data should start from the top of the page itself now if i will show you the output now if i will go for print preview you can see header data is on the first page item data on the first page now on the next page we only only have the item data and this is the real requirement from the customer because customer is saying why header data is coming on each and every page so in that case you have to create a next page and whatever is required on the next pages you can design all those things on the next page now what is our learning in this topic that in which scenario we have to create a new page and after that whenever you will create a new page never never forgot to change the next page because after that you are for the first page the next page is page 2 and for the page 2 the next page is page 2 itself and after that whatever is required we simply took those things on the next page important topic that's it in this video next topic we will continue in the next video thank you